March 11th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, John chapter 2 from the New Testament. Now on the third day there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran out, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no wine left. Jesus replied, Woman, why are you saying this to me? My time is not yet come. His mother told the servants, Whatever he tells you, do it. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washing, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus told the servants, Fill the water jars with water. So they filled them up to the very top. Then he told them, Now draw some out and take it to the head steward. And they did. When the head steward tasted the water that had been turned to wine, not knowing where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, he called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the cheaper wine when the guests are drunk. You have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the first of his miraculous signs in Cana of Galilee. In this way, he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After this, he went down to Capernaum with his mother and brothers and his disciples, and they stayed there a few days. Now the Jewish feast of Passover was near, so Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple courts those who were selling oxen and sheep and doves and the money changers sitting at tables. So he made a whip of cords and drove them all out of the temple courts with the sheep and the oxen. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. To those who sold the doves, he said, Take these things away from here. Do not make my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will devour me. So when the Jewish leaders responded, What sign can you show us since you are doing these things? Jesus replied, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up again. Then the Jewish leader said to him, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and are you going to raise it up in three days? But Jesus was speaking about the temple of his body. So after he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the saying that Jesus had spoken. Now while Jesus was in Jerusalem at the feast of the Passover, Many people believed in his name because they saw the miraculous signs he was doing. But Jesus would not entrust himself to them because he knew all people. He did not need anyone to testify about man, for he knew what was in man. God, I have heard this story about the wedding so many times. I suspect even people who haven't read the Bible have heard of the story of the wedding and Jesus turning water into wine. And I always, up until today, had just thought about it as this amazing first miracle when the disciples believed him. Um, bits and pieces about his mom kind of <laughs> had him to do one of his miracles. Um, but yet I saw something different today when the wine steward said... Um, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the cheaper wine when the guests are drunk. You have kept the good wine until now. And, and I was thinking that that's kind of us with you. With our blessings, we get them backwards. We choose to control our life and hold on to things really tight. And we think we're doing really well because, <laughs> because things seem to not be uh, a mess easiest way to put it things seem to be going pretty good um, so why do we think that we can't just stay in control and make our own decisions and be independent and why in the world do we need to rely on you and so I think it's like the story where our faith is so little at the beginning we're not being given the good wine we have this perception that it's the good wine but it is really not our perception that when we're in control of our life that everything's going to go good because we know we are in control and so we can control what is happening and it's so humorous because we mess that up time after time after time 
And yet we keep going back to that same, same process. So how amazing that we could have the true good wine first, what really is the good wine. Um, we could just have your blessings and do your will uh, by choosing to be dependent upon you to, to be humble uh, and obedient to you first and foremost. Instead of, instead of having to wait for, for our wine to run out uh, and for us to realize completely that we were never in control in the first place. Kind of interesting to talk about wine and whining, uh, which we tend to do when we're in control. We whine a lot. Um, so yeah, it, it was a different perspective when I read the story. And I always love how you do that to my heart and uh, put different stories and different facets of stories into, into my life uh, as I need them told to me. So today, God, help us remember to, to allow you to be in control so we can have the good blessings up front. Uh, instead of us being in control and think we're drinking the good wine. <laughs> God, you're just so amazing. I love you. In your son's name we pray. Amen.